Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I've done a couple of beginner hoop choreography sequences lately and you guys seem to really like those. So today we're going to do something similar but make it a little bit more of an intermediate level. So this is about one minute worth of choreography if you do it fairly quickly. Of course, if you slow it down, it's gonna be longer. And I have a lot of top bar moves and center of the hoop moves in here. If you see a move that you don't know in here, it is fairly easy to take out any of these moves. But I also have tutorials for all of them already on my channel. I will link all of those tutorials in the description of this video. But before we get to the good stuff, just a quick reminder to please subscribe to my channel. It really, really does make a difference when you guys subscribe and like my videos. Plus, uh, I have a great community of people over there and lots of other aerial videos. So make sure that you check it out and subscribe. For pro tips today, I'm going to do something a little different. I already have specific pro tips for each of these moves on their individual tutorials. So I'm going to do pro tips for more sort of general choreography. My first pro tip is to keep your arms moving. It's very tempting to let your arms sit still in positions, especially when you're not using them to hang on to the hoop. And it's a little bit boring to watch. So make sure that your arms stay moving anytime that they're not actually hung on to the hoop. My second pro tip is to think about your transitions. Every transition should be as simple as you can possibly make it. That means putting your hands in place directly without shuffling them around, putting your legs right into the position, just making things as simple as possible. And my third pro tip may seem a little bit obvious, but it is to point your feet and straighten your knees. I know, I know it's repetitive, we hear it all the time, but oh my goodness, it makes such a difference. You guys, it really does. Okay, let's go ahead and break this down. I'm going to start off this choreography by turning my hips to the side, laying back and going into a stag gazelle. This is just a nice way to mix up the gazelle that we do all the time. I'm starting with both knees bent in a stag position. Then I'm stretching my front leg and grabbing my front foot while also grabbing my back foot. I let go and then I sit back up into the hoop. Try to have that leg straight as it's coming down to sit you back up. And remember to arch your back as you come up. Don't let your head come first, that is not cute. From there, I'm sitting back in the hoop and I'm going to push up to the top bar. This is one of my favorite ways up to the top bar. It will look very familiar if you watch many of my videos. I tuck one foot underneath the opposite hip. I'm taking my right foot, tucking it under the opposite hip, hooking my left heel on the top of the hoop and then pushing up into a second stag position, already a second one in this choreography, dropping my head back with a nice arched back and coming up to my hocks on the top bar. Next up, I'm doing the clockwork entry into a Russian split. I take my foot, put it between the outside of my arm and the side of the hoop. Again, I have a more in-depth tutorial. This one can be a little bit confusing. It's linked at the top of your screen right now. I circle my foot round, replace it with my opposite foot, and go into a Russian split. From there, I take my free leg, I rehook it on the top of my hoop, and then I make sure to tuck my head up so I don't smack myself in the face with the hoop, and slip my bottom foot off, rehooking it on the top as well. Now I'm gonna throw in a little chandelier slash gopher pose. I push the hoop in front of my chest, arch my head back, and then bring the hoop behind me into a full back bend, hopefully with my arms straight if I can manage it. I bend my arms, let the hoop come back to rest against the back of my shoulders and neck, and I'm in the perfect position to transfer into a shoulder straddle. All I do is reach over from the back of the hoop, hooking my hands onto the side of the hoop. I sit my hips slightly back so my weight is pulling me back as I straighten my legs and open them into a straddle. If you feel comfortable, you can let go with your hands. Put them back on, rehook your knees on the top of the hoop. And now I'm going to go into a clock split by placing one hand between my knees next to the span set and one hand outside of my knees. The leg that is between your two hands will become the front leg of your split, so make sure that you choose wisely. 
my free leg, that's the one that's outside of my hands, does a big circle with a straight knee all the way around to the ground, coming into a one leg straight, one knee bent position. Then I straighten my front knee and do a full split. To come out of it, I simply slide my top leg down to the bottom of the hoop, doing a little mini drop, and I'm done. That's the whole choreography. And now you're seeing the whole choreography. Let's see it in real time. Remember that if you're confused by anything, I did go through those transitions very quickly. You can go back and look at the specific individual tutorials for each move. This choreography does have a few splits in there, but remember that if you are not feeling super flexible, you can always change a split to a stag and give your hamstrings a break. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed doing this choreography. I really like this little sequence. It's a fun one. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel where there are many, many more videos like this. If you found this video a little bit too hard or a little bit too easy, there are lots of things with other levels on there. So make sure that you check it out and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.